What's going on, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? Or should I say, good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Knowledge by Nikki with 1K, and I am here to have a serious conversation with you today. When I say serious, it's serious, guys. I have talked to at least five people just this week alone, and these five people are basically telling me that they're in in danger of losing their businesses. They're in danger of losing their salons. There's four salons and one barbershop. And my heart breaks when they tell me the story and they kind of take me back to, you know, when they started, the dreams they had and how all of these different things have kind of came into place. You know, COVID-19 is our most recent thing and how they just don't see a way to sustain their business. They just don't see it. And I got to get real close when I have this conversation with you all guys, because my heart is breaking while they're telling me this. And I'm listening to some of the things that they've done to try to get out of holes and to try to, you know, just financially pull themselves up by the bootstraps. And I'm hearing all of these different things that they're doing and have done and are trying. And basically what I'm saying to you all guys is we got to change the way we think. Um, there is a concept. And I just want you all to hear me for a minute. This is going to be just a 10 minute talk, guys, real quick. There's a concept called the 24-7 Salon, and it's something that I just want you all to just kind of absorb a little bit. Listen to me when I say this. Uh, in 2035, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics has already determined that by that time, even from corporate America, 95, almost 100 percent of people are going to want to be 1099 employees. That means they're going to want to work for themselves. They're going to want to have either if it's a side hustle or full time doing their own thing. So let me, let me explain to you what you're going to have to start thinking in terms of. If you have at least 600 square feet or more, okay, and that's not a big place, but if you have at least 600 square feet or more and you have more of an open concept, you can move some chairs, you can do some stuff, maybe put a couple people in there, I need you to start thinking about the other things that your business can actually uh, capacitate, other things that can be done. If you're only open four days a week, five days a week, uh, whatever, I need you to open seven. I need you to allow your place to be open seven days a week for all kind of things. Let me explain to you some of the things. I'm doing a seminar. This, uh, and it's a virtual seminar. I'm doing it this Monday. And the seminar is basically uh, with my private group, typically, but I decided to extend it out to anybody who wants to learn this. I am going to be talking to you about 10 concepts, 10 things that a 600 and 50 or 600 square foot space or more could actually do 24 seven in their space. I'm gonna just tell you a few. First is chair on demand, okay? We've talked about that a lot on these talks and, and I'm gonna go into deeper with understanding, not just putting it out there, how to price it, how to set it up, how to do contracts for it, who you're targeting when you do this, or how the marketing strategies that go along with this. You got all these multi-level marketing companies now from selling supplements to teas to, to fitness stuff to whatever. You got all these things. You got your clients that are involved in these particular companies now. So multi-level marketing seminars, also another great way. We got wedding parties. People coming in, flying from out of town, hairstylists, flies in, they got to do all this in a hotel, but they need shampoo bowls. They need, they need chairs. They need stuff that can spin around, that can make things go quicker, okay? You have that as an option. I'm going to explain to you how to set this stuff up. You have company seminars, distributors, or companies always looking for a place to host their classes and, and, and sell their products and do whatever it is that they do. You have that as an option, guys. And you also have something I love, which is a place where us in the industry, barbers, hairstylists, nail technicians, whatever, can kind of get together and come and do some networking events, guys. We got to start working together, not apart. It's not going to make, we're not going to make it until we start pooling our resources, guys. There is no competition. Your clients are yours. Mine are mine. You don't have to worry about anybody taking from you. We can be, you got in cities like Chicago salons next door to each other. They're literally one next door and they're all doing well. So we don't have to worry about that threat for competition, but we do need to use our 600 square foot or more facilities for networking events where all of us stylists and owners and barbers and whoever can come together and discuss some of these things that we can kind of figure out, you know, and what do we need to do different and what are some of the problems that we're all facing that we can kind of help each other get through. These are just five of the 10 things that I am going to be talking about this Monday. Go on knowledgebynikki.com, sign up for the 24 7 salon concept. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to explain to you how to set up the contract, how to set up. If you have a place that has a kitchen, you can set it up where you provide food, where you provide, if you got chairs and tables, you can have these either all-inclusive packages 
packages or you can let them set it up themselves. If you want to set it up for different stylists to come in, you can set it up where you have uh, all the equipment already stationed. They can use products. I mean, it's endless, guys. Look, there's a place in, in uh, I think it's just the Midwest. It's a home improvement store called Menards. It's similar to Home Depot, but I call it for more to do it yourselfers, which I actually do attempt every now and again. And Menards actually has groceries. And I mean groceries. I ain't talking about just some chips and some water. They have full growth. Well, they have everything but produce and meat. You can literally buy your nails, your screws, your paint, your, your drill, and also go in there and get your milk, your cheese, your butter. They still have things that are perishable. They have, I mean, I love it because when I'm in there, it's like, oh, God, I forgot to get some foil or I forgot to get some charcoal or I forgot to get, you know, something maybe I want to grill with. I can get it all right out of there. Kohl's. Kohl's is all over the country. Kohl's got Amazon pick up and drop off. You have a lot of different corporations that have figured out, even if it's not actually open 24-7 a day, they have more than one thing going on in that business simultaneously or after hours. I'm going to talk to you about the after hours stuff too that you can actually do to keep your business flowing. But it's breaking my heart, guys, when I hear people. I, I love this business. I've loved it since I was a little girl. Before I even actually got in it, I knew all the time from, from birth, they say, that this is what I wanted to do. So, guys, we're going to have to entertain the possibility of having other things operate within our spaces. Let me tell you what it'll do for you. If you're an owner and you're tired of working behind your chair, these things will free up some of the revenue that you are generating just to sustain your business. If you're having issues with staff, whether they be tenants or employees, it will actually keep you from feeling like a hostage where you got to keep these employees that you'd rather kick out or fire, but you can't because you need what they bring to the business. Join me, guys. Join me Monday. Go on knowledgebynikki.com. You can sign up for the 24-7 salon concept. I want to share this with you. Hopefully, we can stop these salons from closing. I know COVID-19 kind of, you know, it kind of put a little nail in the coffin for some of us that were already on life support. But for those of you all that are not there yet, let me help you. Let me help you. This is Nikki Smith. Sign up. I'll see you on Monday.